In this video, you will learn 11 plus verbal reasoning type 9, complete the third pair the same way. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to master 11 plus exam techniques to land in your dream grammar school, start right now by subscribing and clicking on the bell so you don't miss anything. So let's have a look at this example. So let's start off by looking at the first pair of words and see how the second word is different to the first word. So our second word is ton and the first word is ton. So to do this, let's underline the letters that are in common between both the words, so between ton and ton. In our case, we have t-u-n, they're both common between both the words. So now, let's try making a rule to get from stun to ton. So the only rule we can kind of think right now is keep the last three letters and remove the first letter to give you the second word. Because if you keep the last three, you're going to get ton. If you're going to remove the S, you're still going to be left with ton. So let's see if this rule applies for the second pair of words. The second pair of words is sage and age. So do they have the last three letters? And they do have the last three letters. And is the first letter removed? Yes, the first letter is removed. So now let's apply this rule to the third pair to find our answer. So let's remove the first letter, which is S, and keep the last three which is I and K, it's going to give you an answer of ink. So the answer for this example is ink. Let's look at this complete the third pair in the same way example. In this question, we can see there are three pairs of words and we will have to find the third pair in the same way as we find the first two. In other words, the word bent is made from certain letters from behind. The word mo is made from certain letters from mobile and our answer will be made from certain letters from submit. Also, the way you find these words must be the same for all of them. So the way you find bend must be the same way as you find mo and must be the same way as you find your answer. So first, let's start by numbering behind. Let's write one, two, three, four, five, six. And let's do the same for mobile. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, if we look at bend, the first letter of bend is B. Now B is in the first position for behind, and we are going to write 1 over B. Now let's go on to the second letter, which is E. E is in the second position for behind, and we are going to write 2 above the E. Now let's go on to the third one, which is N. N is in the fifth position for behind, and we will write a 5 above the N. And finally, D is in the sixth position for behind and we are going to write 6. We have found 1, 2, 5, 6 for bend. Now we are going to do the same thing for mobile and mo. Obviously, mo starts with m, and m is in the first position. We can write 1. O is in the second position. We can write 2. And then L is in the fifth position. We can write 5. And finally, E is in the sixth position. We can write 6. Now, we got to check whether they both have the same digits. And as you guys could see, Bend as 1, 2, 5, 6, and Mo as also as 1, 2, 5, 6. So they are right. Now, for this question, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, we have to find the first letter. In this case, the first letter is in the first position. The first position for both of them. The first position in this case is S. We can write the S down. Let's look at the second letter. The second letter is in the second position, and the second position is U. We are going to write the U. The third letter is going to be in the fifth position, and the fifth position is I. Let's write the I. And finally, the fourth letter is in the sixth position, and the sixth position is T. Let's write the T down, which gives us suit. So our answer is suit. Now to learn more on verbal reasoning types, click the video on the right, and to learn the previous type, click the video on the left. So take your pick. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.